Welcome to part three of the Open House series, brought to you by Red Apple Reading. Today we're going to talk about balancing out effective reading instruction with fluency, vocabulary, and comprehension. Although phonemic awareness and phonics are critical beginning reading skills, these other three areas are the key to making a successful, confident reader. Fluency is the ability to read with speed, accuracy, and proper expression. Readers who struggle with fluency tend to read slowly or haltingly. This not only affects their desire to read, but also makes it difficult for them to comprehend what they read. Phonics is the first step to building fluency. Decoding words and recognizing high-frequency words instantly are essential to fluent reading. Practice high-frequency words on flashcards or with word lists that are read over and over. There are also several other ways you can help with fluency at home. Start by reading to your child regularly, providing a good model of how fluent reading sounds. Point out how your voice changes and how you pause when you read, demonstrating good phrasing, intonation, and expression. Track words with your finger as you read together and convince him to read along with you or repeat sentences after you. Encouraging him to reread favorite stories and books out loud many times is a great way to build rapid, fluent reading. Books on tape and online storybooks are other great resources. Bringing books, poems, and plays to life with your voice makes practicing reading with fluency fun. Remember, reading rate is important, but not at the cost of losing expression or comprehension. Fluency isn't a speed contest. It's about reading accurately, at a reasonable rate, with appropriate expression. Vocabulary development is another key component to reading. In order to communicate, we need to understand the words we hear, speak, read, and write. Looking up words in a dictionary and memorizing definitions are not effective ways to learn vocabulary. So what works? The single largest impact on a child's vocabulary is the amount of reading they do. Being able to connect new words to prior knowledge, using and reading new words many times in context, and having multiple opportunities to use those new words that's what works. What can you do at home? Read together and discuss the meaning of unfamiliar words you come across. Don't just give a definition, provide examples and non-examples, and synonyms or antonyms they already know. Provide a visual or image if possible and point out parts of the word like root word meanings, prefixes, or suffixes. Listen to stories together and enjoy lots of conversation with your child about events, experiences, or anything else you can think of. Play word games together, tell jokes, and share stories. Who says developing vocabulary has to be boring? Reading comprehension is the ultimate goal of reading, along with enjoyment, of course. It's the ability to understand, interpret, and bring meaning to what you've read. Otherwise, what's the point? Comprehension involves thinking about what you read, and there are many ways you can encourage this. Start by teaching your child how to preview a book before she reads, looking at the title, pictures, and topic. Have her predict what might happen, and think about what she already knows about the topic, characters, or setting. Then, while she reads, suggest that she try to form a mental picture of what she's reading, like a movie playing in her head. Ask open-ended questions about her reading, and try to connect events in the story to her life whenever possible. Have her make connections with the characters and their feelings. Ask her to summarize what she's read so far. Have her read in sections and stop to review what she's just read before continuing on. Encourage her to make notes, diagrams, or an outline while reading and write down any words she doesn't know. Reading with you or another person can make it easier to talk about the story and what she's read. Fluency vocabulary, and comprehension complete our look at the five components of a comprehensive reading program. Many children never reach their full reading potential because they never fully develop these key components. In part four of the Open House video series, we'll talk about what sight words are and how important they are to your child's success in reading.